Welcome to my channel. I am the Pink Flamingo. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome. If you are a new subscriber or a returning subscriber, thank you very much. I appreciate all of the support. Now I'm going to be doing a couple of celebrity readings for my celebrity squad. So be on the lookout for those. But this reading will be a royal reading. Now, if you've been paying attention to the news, you know, as of recently, Catherine's royal duties have been given on to Princess Beatrice. Now, let me say this. If there's one thing that we all know about Catherine, it's that she's never liked Beatrice and Beatrice has never liked her. They're simply like oil and water. They don't mix. So... Now I'm in a little bit of confusion because I'm saying to myself, if Catherine was well alert, would she actually allow Beatrice to take over her duties? Would she be okay with this? Or is there something else going on? Have they hashed it out behind the scenes and we have not heard about their great, I don't know, <laughs> rekindling. <laughs> Because the last time I checked, their energy was very off. In photos, and videos, you can tell they don't like each other. So I find it very hard to believe that out of all the royals that could take her place, she said, yes, absolutely, sign Beatrice up. It's not giving that, honey. It's not giving that at all. <laughs> so we're going to tap into these cards and see whether Catherine and Beatrice had a discussion where they put all their issues behind them and it's a rebirth of their friendship. Because the last time I checked, mm -mm, Beatrice and Catherine don't get along. But we will get into the cards and we will see what Spirit says about these two and whether the public is still accurate about their odd, whatever you want to call that. I, I don't know if they're friends, um, but they're odd behavior and their association when they're in each other's company. So I'm going to see if Catherine still does not like Beatrice and Beatrice still does not like Catherine. Cause that would make all the sense in the world to figure out what's going on with them. Okay. All right, spare, give me some cards for the uh, energy between Beatrice and Catherine. Are they on good terms these days? <laughs> Any other cards for their energy spirit? How does Catherine feel about Beatrice? Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the energy coming out between them. All right. Beatrice and Catherine's energy. How does Beatrice look, look at this? How does Catherine feel about her? Oh. Wow. These are some odd cards coming out. All right, I'm going to keep shuffling. Okay. Very odd cards, but I'm going to make sense of this because they're definitely telling us something. Okay, so the card that came out, which was the first one, uh, Spirit is letting me know this is a very dead relationship. So it's not resurrected. They're not best friends. There's nothing going on between them, right? So it was like a sh straight direct response. No, this relationship is dead, as you can see. Dead relationship. There, there's no friendship. Now I got the glow up card which is letting me know new opportunities, new career, successful business. So for Beatrice, this is a glow up. She's basically getting out of the shadows of where she's been sitting and she's taking on this opportunity as a way to finally follow her dreams or her goals or whatever it is that she had in mind. You know, because Beatrice hasn't really been utilized that much as a royal and I think that's where her and her sister kind of were a little bit jealous of Catherine. So for Beatrice, it's like, 
Come on, honey, send on the workload. This is my glow up. I'm about to shine. But in this energy, I'm getting this legal stuff again. As if something is going on in the back because I keep getting the legal card popping out of people's energies. It's very weird now at this point. And for the people who have been watching my channel, you know, this legal card pops up in almost every single reading around Catherine's energy, no matter who, who it is. Right. Um, I just did the Oracle drop. Uh, when was that? Not my last reading, but the reading before. And that was on Pippa and her mother. And it was coming out in that reading twice. So I'm wondering if there's some kind of legal stuff going on in the background with the Royals. It's almost like this energy I'm getting is, oh, I'm going to take over Catherine's spot until they figure this stuff out. Whatever the heck that is. Then I'm getting nur uh, nurturing, mentorship, wisdom, and giving back. So for Beatrice, she's kind of considering this a glow up opportunity of I finally made it. I finally get a time to shine, but I also get a chance to somewhat give back and be a part of the public. Right. But in Beatrice's energy and Catherine's energy, I'm also getting more so Beatrice energy, to be quite honest. I don't really feel like much of these cards reflect Catherine besides the dead relationship, but I'm getting running. As if Beatrice's energy is giving off that William is running from something. He's trying to escape. He's in denial and he's got these damn excuses. And what came up with that card was the deception. The mask, the hiding and the concealing as if she is aware that she's in on concealing something. So for their friendship... Spirit made it very clear. This is a dead friendship. There's nothing going on between Catherine and Beatrice. They have not hashed this out. They're not buddies. They're not best friends. It's, it's dead. They got nothing to say to each other. And I understand that because I, I've read stories where they said that Beatrice and her sister was somewhat bullying Catherine. And then when Catherine got the upper hand, she started bullying them. So they've been going tit for tat for a little while. So I did have to ask this question. And this was the first card that came out of the deck and is letting me know directly yes this relationship is dead dead relationship this is a glow up for beatrice this is her way of giving back she feels that she can be out and about and give back and finally become this public figure she wants to be a mentor and share her wisdom whatever that looks like to her and this is also a glow up opportunity. I'm here. I'm out and about. I'm not a, I'm not a royal that's in hiding no more. Look at me. I'm Beatrice, Princess Beatrice. So she loves this. But I'm a little confused as to this legal stuff, this running. Now, let me say this. The legal card could mean a divorce. It could also mean someone is fighting for custody of the children, maybe. Or worst case scenario, this could also mean criminal. Like legalities have fallen to all different parts of it. You know, it could be divorce, paternity, not paternity, but child support and, and custody battles, as well as criminal. Hopefully we're not pulling criminal out of the deck. Because this card, this legal card pops up way too much, <laughs> way too much. And for everyone that's been watching my channel and you've seen the cards that usually come out, you guys know that this card pops up a lot. The legal stuff. Beatrice is aware that he's hiding something. He's running. He's in denial. He's making the excuses. Beatrice's energy gave me this, the mask to conceal the deception, hiding. These cards came up back to back together. So I'm not really getting any pull out of Catherine's energy, but this is really Beatrice's energy. Oh boy. And to be honest, Beatrice is already spilling the tea right from the very first shuffle and pull. You know, they say Beatrice talks a lot. <laughs> 
you know, and when I was doing Harry's reading and I got the energy that, uh, Harry was busy talking to someone in the Royal family, like someone was spilling the tea. I immediately thought of Beatrice because they say this woman can, can really talk. Okay. Let me see what I can find out about what she knows about William and Catherine's, uh, relationship. So I'm going to see if anything pops out as to what Princess Beatrice knows about this marriage currently. Wow. That one fell all the way under my table. Hold on. But you know this always happens. Okay. Any any other cards here, Spirit, for what Beatrice knows about William and Catherine's marriage? Beatrice's energy. For Princess Catherine. And Prince William's marriage, what does she know? Ooh, snap. Any more cards? I'll take a couple more. Princess Beatrice's energy, what does she hear about William's marriage? What does she know? Because I know Beatrice knows all the tea. Something looked like it wanted to pop out. Sorry, that was the card. Okay, I got enough cards. So Beatrice is hearing through the grapevine that William clearly has been t interacting with someone else. I'm getting the unknown caller, the stalking, the hanging up, and the unknown numbers. So what I'm picking up from this is basically a continuation of what I read in the cards yesterday, which was about Rose and her energy. So I got the investigator card for Rose at that time, which was she was busy being very nosy. She was very, she was busy basically interrupting William's marriage to Catherine. So she had all the time in the world somewhat to impose, ask family members questions. So the energy I'm picking up from this particular card is she gave off a bit of a stalking energy. That's the word that applies. So Rose, I know William is still at fault. So I'm not, I'm not saying William is not at fault. But what I'm saying is spirit is saying Rose was very aggressive in terms of the direction she took <laughs> with getting William's attention. So as much as people said that Catherine put in work to get William, spirit is letting me know Rose is no different. Rose has had her eyes on William for a little while and she's been very, very direct. And she's been really much so on it. So it's not one of those things where it's like, well, William seen me and I seen William and then there's attraction. She must have gotten a little bit of attention from William and she from William and she's been pursuing it ever since in a very aggressive way in terms of calling him, stalking him, figuring out what he's doing with his family. So this is the energy I'm picking up as if Beatrice knows that Rose is a little bit on the stalker side. And I could understand that because she's trying to get these invites. I don't know if Camilla is directly handing them out to her in the past, I mean, but maybe in the past she was calling Camilla up and trying to see if she could get into these functions, these parties, whatever they are, these events that William would be at. So Beatrice is saying this girl has put in the work which we did get in the investigator deck. I mean, in the other deck with the investigator. 
Now, Spirit is saying determined. So Beatrice knows that Catherine has been very determined to hold on to this marriage, to be persistent. She's been persistent, not really wanting to let go of her marriage. She tries her best to really work on this. And that might be throughout the years. Beatrice's energy is giving the fact that he was caught. Right. So and this popped up in a couple other readings as well. So he's been caught red handed. I got the intimacy stuff, the passion coming into a union. So with this card, what Beatrice's energy is referencing is the fact that all of this, these these bedroom activities that were going on between William and Rose kind of change from it just being an intimate thing into it becoming a union. So at first, when William got with her, he had no intentions of necessarily replacing Catherine and making this woman queen. She was just a woman that was in the bedroom and he could get away with what he wanted to do with her. And maybe she was one of those women that were ready for the get down and she would do the group stuff and the menage and all that fun stuff that he might be into. So he did not see her as wife to be, but with her stalker like behavior from what Beatrice is saying with the first card, she don't worked herself up to a whole union to the point where the man had a strong desire, strong chemistry and started missing her. He wanted more out of it himself, but this was not his intention. Spirit is also saying toxic people, addictions, bad advice, wrong crowd. So Beatrice is acknowledging that William, he's around a lot of toxic people, even though he is a toxic person himself, but his influence, nonetheless, the people he hang out with do not give him good advice. They don't step to him and say, hey, William, you need to work on yourself. They basically just allow him to do what he wants to do. They put up with whatever addictions he has, more than likely drinking. They give bad advice. Just the wrong crowd is what Beatrice is saying in her energy. She's also giving off the infatuation card, the denial, the obses obsession, and the attraction. So she's saying that William is a bit infatuated with Rose. But it doesn't look like the cards I'm getting have anything to do with um, love necessarily. Basically, in Beatrice's energy was, oh, you were the woman stalking him. You finally got in bed with him. You rolled around in bed with him a few times. You basically ruined his marriage. You were caught red handed in bed with him. And now he's infatuated with you. And instead of the people around him giving him good advice, they're somewhat just allowing William to do what William wants to do. So nobody's being the voice of reasoning currently. Everyone is just supporting William and his toxic behavior. So toxic people, toxic behavior. And she was aware that Catherine wanted to stay in her marriage and work it out. She was very determined. She caught him, but I've already seen that already in one of my readings that she had caught them in bed together. You know, Catherine has found Rose and William in bed. This is the second time I'm pulling the cot. And she was not meant to be wifey. She was just meant to be the side girl that Roy, when William rolls around in bed with. But clearly, she's trying her best to level up. Which is what I seen in my last reading um, that I just did with Rose and the coronation. So there goes that. Now I'm going to see what it is that Beatrice actually thinks. Make sure I don't have any cards flipped over here. What Beatrice actually thinks when it comes to Catherine, what's her energy towards her? How does she feel about Catherine as a person? All right, Spirit, give me a couple cards for Beatrice's energy. 
when it comes to Catherine. How does she feel about Catherine? Anything she'd use to describe Catherine as an individual? Now, this is just Beatrice's energy, okay? So, doesn't mean it's truthful about Princess Catherine. just means how she looks at her. Okay. Any cards here, Spirit, for this? Princess Catherine's energy? Oh, okay. A whole bunch want to slide out this way. <laughs> okay, make sure I flip these over right. Okay. Okay, I'll do it this way. Okay, another deck. One second. Let's see what other cards I can pull. All right, Beatrice's energy for Catherine. Any more in that energy spirit? As to how Beatrice looks at Catherine. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Okay, I think it was this card. Okay. So basically what I got in this energy is private investigator. She says Catherine is suspicious of everyone, may not find solid proof, overcommitted to solving a case, ignorant when people close to her get involved. So this is how she feels about Catherine in general. She's saying, you know, when people try to help Catherine, she doesn't want anyone to help her. She's also saying that she's suspicious, like Catherine doesn't trust a lot of people. But given the fact that she is not out and about, and we've been looking for her now for over 130 days, um, yeah, I would be suspicious of everyone as well. So I don't know if for a while Catherine's had the intuitive in terms of her intuition was given her somewhat of something bad could happen to her because Beatrice is describing her as being the kind of person who is suspicious of everyone, even when she doesn't have proof of stuff. And she's always overcommitted to solving the case. So some, when things are odd around her, she wants to know exactly what's going on. Now, this could be a big clue also to why she could have disappeared. Now, if Catherine has the personality of this, I wonder if she also found out about some things that she shouldn't have known because over committing to solving a case and you're a royal, that might not be a good thing, especially if these people don't want you to really know too much of what goes on. But this is how Beatrice is describing her. She's saying Catherine trusts no one. Catherine's always investigating. She's suspicious of everyone. And ignorant when people close to her get involved. So that's Beatrice's opinion. I got the werewolf willingness to connect and learn from the past metamorphosis, liberated and powerfully sexual inner strength, reincarnation and spiritual energy. So what I pick up from this card is she's basically saying that with the reincarnation energy, I take it that what, spirit is giving me is that Beatrice is saying Catherine has a bit of that reincarnation energy of Diana, where sometimes people kind of compare her to Diana, even though Diana was in her own element. So there's not a big comparison, but she's favored. There's something about Catherine where the people like her. Um, 
She's saying that Catherine has a willingness to connect and she has a willingness to like learn from the past as an individual. So this is something good she's saying about Catherine is that she does have that somewhat of that Diana effect on some people. Now, not to everybody, I'm sure in the UK, but for the people who are royalist, they might like Catherine on that level where it's almost like, well, you remind us so much of Diana and Diana would really love you if she's she ever had a chance to meet you. I got the maiden. Quirky, assertive, sets boundaries, growth mindset, stand up for belief, youthful, feminine, carefree, and empowered. See, I can agree with this. And this is why I'm worried a little bit that Catherine is not okay. Because if she does have this personality where she's empowered and she sets boundaries and she stands up for what she believes in, this might not work for the royals, especially with the private investigator energy that. Beatrice is giving on her. This might not be what the royal family want her to be. She might be trying to live out the box and they might have a problem with this. She might not be the type where she's willing to sit when they tell her to sit. She might not be the type where they tell her, you know what, Catherine, mind your business. And she actually minds her business. Think about that. This could be a problem. I got pickpocket. Ruthless approaches to becoming rich. A liar, a manipulate situation, misguides others, justifies illegal actions due to being warp minded. Wow. Now, I don't think the justify illegal actions apply to Catherine. But mm, Catherine might have a little bit of desire to be wealthy. We do know her mother, Carol, kind of has that going on. It kind of trickles down to the children. So Beatrice, even though she's not one to talk because she is a part of the royal family, she's saying Catherine does have a little bit of ruthlessness when it comes to approaching wealth. And I think you'd kind of need that to be a part of the royal family. Mm, I'm just saying she's also saying liar manipulates the situation and misguides other. Well, I can see how that happened because there's a few situations where they say Beatrice was ma manipulated <laughs> and misguided to look a little stupid at events due to, I guess, instructions that were given by Catherine. <laughs> so I don't know, but this is how she looks at her. Oh, wow. I got the child card for Catherine. She says, Catherine throws tantrums. She's stubborn. Mm, that's a problem for the royals. Sulkiness, unprepared, drained, overwhelmed, naive, ignorant, over-dependence, and moody. Mm, that's how she looks at her. But let me say this. If there are, um, if she is stubborn, this might not be a good thing. But I'm getting a lot of cards letting me know that Catherine doesn't go with the program. That she really does what she wants to do. She is a type to investigate and see if stuff makes sense. So basically, she's a little bit on the nosy side. Wow. Guru in the reverse. She says predator as a channel of the divine, fake, abuse of power, huge temptation to the ego. Cannot deal with other people's projections. Mm. <laughs> this is Beatrice's energy, what she thinks of Catherine. So she's basically saying Catherine is fake. She likes to abuse her power. She says she got a huge temptation of the ego and cannot deal with other people's projections. Keep in mind, this is Beatrice's opinion. I'm sure if we shuffled Catherine's energy, <laughs> she'd have a lot to say about Beatrice as well. <laughs> 
So she thinks Catherine takes advantage of being a princess a little bit and being a part of the royal family in terms of being William's wife. Anyways, she said, <laughs> this goes with the child card. She says triggers, set it off, offended and strong victimization. So what she's saying is Catherine will turn herself into a victim immediately. But this would make sense because her and Beatrice have gone back and forth. And I'm sure she has complained to William when Beatrice does something. So clearly this would make more sense coming out of Beatrice's energy that she actually thinks that Catherine victimizes herself. You know, <laughs> Beatrice probably is very guilty, but in her energy, she's going, I didn't do anything. Catherine's just playing the victim of all the time kind of thing. She says, Catherine's on a mission. She's always determined and she's focused. A lot of these cards kind of go with her uh, energy. Like they kind of go together. The private investigator, her being on a mission to solve things makes all the sense. This is what she also thinks about Catherine. She says, Catherine has broken thinking. She says she settles for less than what she deserves. Dirty offer. So I don't think dirty offers what applies, but basically the broken thinking. She's saying that Catherine settles for less than she deserves, which could be a reference to her marriage. So maybe she thinks, you know, Catherine takes a lot from William. Maybe she feels like this is something I would not take from my boyfriends. Well, Beatrice's boyfriends, from what we're hearing, they don't live too long. Now, not, I know you guys heard about that one in the hotel room in Florida, but they're also saying there is another boyfriend of hers that is no longer with us. So I don't know. Maybe Beatrice, when she gets a little upset, maybe she handles these men. I don't know. <laughs> maybe that's why she thinks Catherine's settling for a little less. <laughs> maybe she's thinking, hey, if it was me, <laughs> Catherine, this is what I would do. <laughs> I don't know. But this is what her energy is basically giving off. She's just saying, you know, Catherine is a bit of an investigator. She's, which is what we got here. I got the werewolf energy. She does say Catherine has a lot of inner strength and the reincarnation energy, which is basically probably referencing more so to that Diana energy being the people's princess. She, is, she says maiden, which is another form with the inner strength here. She's also saying that empowered. Beatrice is very, um, I mean, Catherine's very empowered. And this is why I'm a little worried because if these are the personality traits that she displays for the royals, I don't think this is what they want. Yeah, they definitely don't want a lot of this stubbornness so she doesn't go with the flow so i'm going to see what else i can pull out of another deck but it doesn't seem like Catherine really follows protocol <laughs> seems like she just does what she wants to do and that might be a problem this might be where a lot of the problems are stemming from because when you marry into that particular family, you got to do what they ask you to do. Now, I'm going to see what the energy is between William and Beatrice and what they're trying to achieve with this whole thing of Beatrice being on the road now and being the uh, royal that's going to take over Catherine's duty. What's the angle? All right, Spirit, give me a couple cards for this energy. William. Prince William and Beatrice. What are they trying to accomplish with this right now? What's the energy here? Beatrice, Princess Beatrice, Prince William. What's the energy?
Beatrice and Prince William. What's the energy here? Beatrice, Prince William, what's the energy on her taking over Catherine's duties? What is he at least telling Beatrice about these duties? Princess Beatrice and Prince William, what's the energy? What does William have in mind for Beatrice here? Any other cards here, Spirit? Wow. <sighs> These cards that come out are just so crazy. Okay. What else, Spirit? Any other cards for this energy? Any other cards? I'll take one or two more cards. The energy between Prince William and Beatrice. What's the aim? What, what are they trying to achieve here? Prince William. Beatrice. Royal duties. Anything else? Okay. Now, what I'm getting is Beatrice's energy as well as William's energy. It's all coming together so the cards make sense. And you will be a little shocked <laughs> by what's coming out. Now, well, not shocked really, but the libations, right? Now, I don't believe this is referencing anything religious right now. I'm just kind of getting the energy that this is how it came about. They were sitting there having a few drinks. And. They decided, hey, let's do this collaboration. Backup, unity, and enhancement. So basically what this is, is you're going to be the backup. You're going to be the backup for Catherine. This is the wonderful idea I have. The inspiration. I'm going to suggest this, the, it, the vision. This is what we want. This is the idea. I got the vision that you can take over. I'm going to suggest that you take over. You'll be the backup for Catherine. This will be the collaboration. This is how we'll work through this. And of course, Beatrice said, oh, this is fate. This is a coincidence. I'm so lucky. I never thought this would ever happen. I'll be the princess on the road. I'll do the royal duties. I've been waiting my whole life for this. But underneath it all, Beatrice is no dummy. She know that there's sorrow and there's damage done. And this is why she has to do this collaboration with William. She also knows William is masking something. He's putting on a different face every time he sees Beatrice. Deception, pretending, inconsistency. She knows there's damage. Damage is done. She knows that's the only way. William would collaborate with her. And in my first drop, you all seen the mask card come out of Beatrice's energy. So this is the second time this card is coming out. So Beatrice is no dummy. She knows she's on the road collaborating. And she's considering this thing to be a glow up for her. She's like, mm, new opportunities. 
wonderful. You know, it might be at the expense of Catherine, but hey, I get to glow up. I get to go on the road. I get to be the people's princess because that's who I really want to be. You see, this is the only reason why he could reach out and get Beatrice because Be Beatrice is thirsty enough to probably do this job. <laughs> right? And this might have been why all these years Catherine and Beatrice have had their issues because Beatrice is a bit jealous of what it is that Catherine represents and she knows that she cannot do that. So this is her glow up. She doesn't care that he's masking stuff. She's like, yep, sign me up for the collaboration. This is fate. I could care less if the fate is from anything good or bad. Just sign me up. I don't care if it's from loss or damage. I'm ready to go. So, seems like they had a few drinks, honey. Maybe they met at the pub. <laughs> And William said, listen, Catherine's not going to be able to go on the road right now. So do you mind? Do you mind taking over Catherine's royal duties? Seems like a lot of things happen with the libation. <laughs> Seems like a lot of liquor is always being poured, honey. As for the legal card, I am still confused why this is coming up. Hopefully it's criminal and if it's, well, hopefully it's not criminal, but if it is criminal, hopefully he's going to jail, honey. Cause I don't know what to say. Although they're saying they can't lock up a king or a prince or whatever the heck, but this legal card keeps coming up as if spirits referencing something legal is going on. And, and now it's popping up in Beatrice's energy. So I'm going to do a quick little Oracle drop and I'm going to see what Beatrice might know or has heard about Catherine's disappearance. She clearly knows something's going on because she just gave me the card of loss, which is coming out of William and her energy as if they both know that there is loss here and that he's masking something, which kind of makes me wonder if she really knows everything because she is saying mask and loss. So maybe she does, maybe she doesn't, or maybe she's just on board with helping him mask this loss or damage because that's another word on the card okay so i'm going to do a quick little shuffle and an oracle drop a crime drop and see what it is i can find okay but yeah beatrice is in on this she knows something's off and it seems like her and William had a couple drinks one night somewhere and she, she got the, uh, the glow up option of, Hey, would you like to take over Catherine's duties for me? And she said, yes, this is an, this is the opportunity I've been waiting for my entire life. I'm absolutely. William. All right, spirit. What does Beatrice know? about Catherine's disappearance. Does she know anything? Or what does she even know about her ex-boyfriend? Anything in this energy of Beatrice? Beatrice, Princess Beatrice, anything in her particular energy right now? Anything she knows going on with the royal family? What does Beatrice know? The royal family, is there anything Beatrice knows? Beatrice? Anything else she knows about Catherine, her family, even her ex-boyfriend? Does she know anything? What does Beatrice know? What does she know about her own family? Which is probably a lot. Anything else Beatrice knows? Maybe about Catherine's disappearance? Have they been telling her anything? Oh, mm, that's back. Any other cards here, Spirit, for Beatrice's energy? 
Let's do a quick drop here. Beatrice. Anything she knows about Princess Catherine. Anything she knows. Anything her energy is willing to give off. Princess Catherine. What does she know? Does she know anything? Beatrice. What does she know about this situation that William is hiding? Prince William. Organized crime. <laughs> well, that's the whole damn royal family, girl. <laughs> anything else? I'll take a couple more cards and then I'll be done with this. Anything else? This card's back again. One more card here, Spirit, for Beatrice's energy. What does she know? What has she been hearing? What does Beatrice know? Anything else? It's coming out pretty blend as if she doesn't know much, but we'll see if there's anything else that wants to pop out. Beatrice, Prince William, Princess Catherine. Anything else she knows? I've gotten a couple of cards well, but. All right. Now, there's a few cards that are coming up. I got the runaway, which kind of comes up all the time. Now, what I find very interesting is I'm getting the outside and the strangulation card popping up again. This was the two cards that came out of the nanny's energy when I did the reading, and it was both of them. Outside and strangulation, right? Now, I don't know if strangulation took place outside, but I find it odd that these two cards are coming back together with each other. The outside could also represent... Um, I guess Thomas Kingston's energy. But I really don't think so because the card is coming up this way again outside. It keeps pointing to outside. Strangulation outside. I don't know if someone witnessed this or what this is about. Um, I got greed, which is something that I, I, I pretty much picked up in Thomas Kingston's wife's energy, his widow. She kept on refer referencing greed, greed, greed through the whole reading. Um, and now I'm getting the greed card again. So this has to do with some money as well, because I'm also getting the fire, which is the remains of Thomas Kingston. So not only could he have been helping Catherine get away, because I got the runaway card. This could also have something to do with money. So even though we might be debating which one it is, it could be both. It could be both. This could be the reason why Thomas is not here. He could have pissed them off <laughs> more than one way. Right? Because the greed's coming through. And the runaway. Someone wants to run away. Somebody's being greedy about money. Thomas Kingston's remains burnt. Organized crime. Not really sure how that fit in, but that's pretty much Le Royale, Le Mafia. Mm. <laughs> So everything they do is organized, honey. Then I got grandparent. For some reason, I get the energy that this is. It could be anyone. It could be Camilla, a reference to Camilla, because she is the grandparent of the children. Or it could be Queen Elizabeth, her, her, her own self. But I just pulled the card of grandparent. Not sure why. And the struggle card is back. So Beatrice knows about some kind of struggle.
Now, it doesn't seem like she knows. I'm not getting any other odd cards. But to be quite honest, from what they say about Beatrice, they don't like to tell her too much because she talks too much. So I'm wondering if some of the secrets are being held from her right now. But she has heard of a struggle. That's in her energy. She knows a struggle took place of some sort. I'm getting the strangulation card again with outside. And if you want to see where that video is, go look at the nanny's reading. It's in there. These cards together. So I don't know if Thomas, Wick, uh, Thomas Kingston witnessed some kind of, like I was saying to you all, that William could have lost his mind or something. You know, he does the libations, as we can see in the in this particular deck. So maybe he was intoxicated and something occurred. And maybe him and Thomas Kingston got into a fight. Because now I'm getting the burning of the remains. I'm getting grandparent. Not really sure what that's about. And I'm getting struggle. And organized crime. Which, can I say I'm shocked that this is falling around her energy when I'm talking about the royals? No, not really, because their crimes are all organized. I've been getting the Pizzagate and the Jeffrey Epstein and all this other stuff. So, you know, just another card referencing their <laughs> their behavior a bit. Um, yeah, well, let me know what you all think of this runaway popping up. It's It's popped up a few times in our readings. Catherine running away. I'm now getting the greed card coming back in another deck. This popped up in uh, Lady, Lady Gabriella's energy. She was saying something about greed. William's greed. I also got the struggle card. Now, I think this popped out of uh, Lady, Lady Gabriella's energy also. So there is some struggle that took place, whether it's Catherine's struggle, which is what I think it really referenced is Catherine's struggle. I'm getting strangulation, which is what I also believe is a Catherine reference card and the outside because this was in the nanny's energy when I read. As if they have heard about some kind of situation that happened outdoor publicly, maybe on some royal grounds. I don't know where William had lost his cool and maybe attempted to do something. I'm not sure. Allegedly, this is for entertainment purposes only. But this might not be what caused necessarily her disappearance, so to speak. But it's an event that maybe people have witnessed and spoke about it. Maybe it was one of those things where he had an outburst, the kind of outburst that Harry talks about. And now the royal family knows like how he really behaves because it seems like these car these two cards have come out before and the nanny's energy. So I don't know what's happening, but I also got a fire reference to the remains again of Thomas Kingston. So I don't know if Thomas witnessed this and he was a part of this and he stood up for Catherine. And this is where all that drama started. I got grandparent, the man and the woman. This could be Camilla. This could be King Charles, the grandparents of the children somewhat. Maybe keeping this under wrap. And I got the organized crime, which I know you all can place this where it belongs. <laughs> this is the royal family. So we know. Nothing in that milk is clean, right? And unfortunately, if something did happen to Thomas Kingston on behalf of them, this could be a part of it as well. We don't know how you know deep the rabbit hole goes. We kind of just are picking up energies on things around them. So this is what I got from Beatrice's reading. She's aware of the struggle. She's aware of the greed. The runaway situation. She gave me the grandparent card. I got the strangulation in the outside. That's back together again. The fire. Thomas Kingston's remains. Let me know what you think about the small oracle drop. It doesn't seem like Beatrice knows a whole lot. 
but she knows he's masking something. They might not even tell Beatrice or the other younger royals what it is that William has done. Because to be quite honest, this would probably be information that they would want to conceal. Only because I read in some of my readings that the family really doesn't even want him to be king. So I feel like if they had this information, they might do something with it. <laughs> As a way to sabotage him, possibly. So... I don't know if the grandparent card is coming out as a reference for King Charles and Camilla being somewhat the grandparents for the children and they're concealing this, but yeah, he, they, she might not know a lot. She probably heard about the struggle. She probably heard about the, the event of the strangulation, which came through the nannies and energy. Um, but it doesn't seem like she knows about the actual whereabouts of Catherine currently. It seems like, She's taking this offer up as a way to kind of help herself out. You know, she sees it as a glow up. This is what she's always wanted to do. She's willing to do the collaboration with William. This is fate to her. It's all working out the way she wants it. And she knows deep down inside that something happened. She knows that there's damage loss. There's some kind of loss. How it came about or what is going on, she may not know the details, but she knows that he's masking something, he's hiding something, and there's loss. So that's what I got out of Beatrice's energy. I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff fall out like I did for other people's energies. But, you know, Beatrice is somewhat of a gossiper, so she might not be hearing all the tea. They might be keeping some of this away from her. So let me know what you all think about the reading and until next time, bye-bye.